Hi everybody, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I filmed a few and I was like, oh, better not post them. So here we are today with a video that I'm very excited about. I think a lot of you guys who have been following me on social media are also excited about this one. And this video is me buying the Barbie collection off of one of the Barbie movie songwriters. So let me tell you the backstory on that real quick before we unbox everything. I was writing the Barbie Princess and the Popper uh, fan man-made musical, also known as Popsicle, and during this process I was in contact with the songwriters. So one of these songwriters is Amy Powers and she wrote the music for not only the Barbie movies, Broadway musicals, and then also Disney Princess Enchanted Tales, the underrated classic. Um, and she reached out to me and she was like, hey Alexis, I'm selling off my collection, do you want to buy some of my dolls? And I was like, Yes. So here we are. I asked her to sign all the doll boxes. I think I bought six in total um, and I got this big box in the mail <laughs> and we're gonna open some Barbies. One of these days I'm gonna have an actual place to film. Today we are in front of the door uh, but one day, one day, I'll find somewhere better to film. You don't care. You didn't ask. These dolls are not only for me, but I'm surprising my sister, who also has lots of Barbie dolls, with some of these dolls. I think we should start in order of year. So the first one, we have Liana from the Diamond Castle, my childhood favorite Barbie movie. So there's her signature. Here's the back of the box. The Melody brush came loose. It's just in there. I think it was supposed to go right there but the elastic must have broken because this doll is 2008 what year is it 2022 12 years old 14 years old i can't do math my god what would liana be without alexa ah, the box is a little bit there ah oh i think she has the same issue with the here they have these little quotes at the bottom of their boxes um, Liana says, who says brave can't be beautiful? Princess Liana. And Alexa says, friendship can conquer any fear. There are some other iconic quotes in the movie, like bread and jam, or the, the chase unsuspecting girls with dirty dishcloths, or they're too cute for their own good. I would have loved to see those on the boxes, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Here's the back of the box for... Alexa, they're pretty much the same, except they have the corresponding dolls. I remember getting these dolls at Christmas, kind of around the time they first came out, and these were like the top of my wish list. I really wanted these dolls as a little kid, and I was I just seeing these in the box again, it's like, oh my god, this is what they look like. Wow. They're so beautiful. These are the ones my sister wants, but I like kind of don't want to give them to her. <laughs> I might have to. I have a D-Box Leon on Alexa which were the ones that I had when I was a kid, but I'm like, oh man, they're in the boxes and they're signed. <sighs> That's 2008. Then 2010, this is Fashion Fairy Tale Barbie. I never had this one as a kid. It was because the top didn't come off and I couldn't change the outfit and that was like my favorite thing to do as a little kid. So I didn't have this one as a kid and I'm so happy to have it now. She's tied up in this very beautiful bow up at the top. Here is the back. It says discover your inner sparkle, XOXO Barbie. What if she came with like zombie peas accessories? That would be so funny. So I think this dress changes and it's supposed to be like this regular one and then it like flips into the, the end dress here. Did they make Ken in this set? Remember how Ken had the ripped underpants? I did not like Ken in this movie. He was like rude. I love this movie so much. Such a good movie. Okay, so 2008, 2010, next one, 2011. This is another doll I did not have as a kid and I don't often see this doll for resale, but also I haven't really been looking for it because it's a little bit after when I was playing with Barbies, but like, I'm still very glad to see it. I remember watching the movie on Nickelodeon when it came out and this is Barbie Fairy Secret. This doll is so gorgeous. When I was seeing pictures of this doll, I always thought that the wings sat a little bit low on her body. And I still kind of think that if you look on the back, you can see where it hinges is a little bit low too. It's like her lower back. And she has these cute little shoes, look at that. But this box is in really good condition as well. So her, her outfit transforms. What is that? This is the look. I remember watching the behind the scenes of this movie. It's on YouTube. And they had the prototype doll or how they were designing the doll or something. And I thought, that's so pretty. And she is, she's so pretty. 
I love her. She kind of looks like she has a different body shape than some of the other dolls. Like, see? Come on. Oh my god. It's like slightly different. Here's Johnny. The next one. This one. This is the matching set. And I have not seen this for sale as a set in a very long time. And I'm so stoked to have them as a set. And they are the princess of the pop star set. Look how the boxes fit together. Gorgeous. They come apart. They're two separate boxes, but they fit. I remember seeing these for sale at the toy store when the movie came out. It was 2012. Um, I saw the movie and I liked the movie. I really liked the movie. And then I rewatched the movie with my sister, um, like, sort of recently. I was like, this movie is not as good as I remember it being. They do a, um, they like redo To Be a Princess. Julian is screaming, but they redo To Be a Princess. And I feel like it's such a wasted opportunity for them to have put that song in Princess and the Pop Star, even though that's like the Princess and the Popper remake. Um, because it should have been in Princess Charm School when they're all learning to be princesses. They should have had the instructor sing to be a princess, but it's reworked. Like, it would have been too powerful, I think. So we have Princess Tori. I always think her name is Courtney. I think Courtney is from Rock and Royals, which is another Princess and the Popper remake. I really like when the dolls have their, um, singing thing here like the necklace i remember liking that the best as a kid i know nowadays they have the the mic thing where you can move the mic and they'll sing i think maybe this is like that too but it has the necklace so i don't know okay so on the back it says tap my necklace to hear two songs so i don't think her holding the mic has anything to do with it hmm. this is another one where the outfit doesn't come off <laughs> this is definitely one of the more modern ones she even has a qr code on the back <laughs> Oh, and here it is signed, of course. It's a little hard to see on this one. There. This is the one that's really tough to find in the box. It's not even necessarily that it's a really expensive doll because there are definitely more expensive Barbie movie dolls to find, but it's it's hard to find in the box, I think. Um, and that's Kira the pop star. And she has this top that's also painted on. Barbie, why are you like this? Um, and here's her necklace. What if they did sing? What if they were like, to be a pop star? Ah! So the gimmick with this one, and the other one too, is that the skirt, it, you can start as a princess and then it turns and you become a pop star. Like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. I've seen a lot of videos where people turn it and the wig just looks whack, but I'm not gonna take her out of the box, so we're never gonna know. She's in the pop star outfit already, but she has the princess hair, because they know, they know the wig is sus and then she's in the princess outfit and then you can turn her into a pop star her pop star outfit looks a lot like this outfit and this came before you're copying barbara my god these six are the ones that i got from amy powers so thank you so much amy so it's interesting how all the gimmicks on these work so to get the princess and the pop star wants to sing you press the necklace to get the Diamond Castle ones to sing, you press the arm or the hand. To get the Fashion Fairy Tale one to um, do something. Oh, lights and sounds. Okay. You press the belt. The current Barbie musical ones that sing um, and light up are the Big City Big Dreams ones. And that one, you lift the arm. And there's no off button. So if you accidentally lift the arm up, they're just going to sing. And I... We've struggled the hard way with those ones. I am a big fan of the necklace. I like the necklace. I actually think the Supreme one is the first one they did and that was Princess and the Popper. You don't even know there's a button because it's on the back and you press the back and they sing and you don't even see the button and they can have their necklace and there's nothing like sculpted on. Um, the one thing that I haven't seen any of the Barbie dolls do that sing or light up is they don't have an off switch which is distressing. The Disney dolls that sing have an off switch, so you can turn them off. It's a sea of Barbies. Oh, you can't really see here. Let me set them all up. Ooh, here are the other ones that I have. These are not from Amy. I, I've had these from before. So this is Miss Genevieve from 12 Dancing Princesses. There's a little thing that goes there. And this is the back of the box. It's a little damaged, but whatever. There was a video I saw where they said like after a certain year, I think it was like 1971, uh, the 70s, I think, they changed Barbie's mouth sculpt or mold so that she always has her teeth exposed now. So she used to smile like a smirk, like, but now she has her teeth out. She's like, 
And so they're like, after that, they never went back to the closed mouth smile again. So I was looking at all these dolls and I'm like, oh my God, you're right. They all have teeth. Ah! This is the regular Genevieve. It's not the one that spins. Like there's a, no, this is the one that spins. There's a big one, like a 14 inch Genevieve, mega Genevieve, her ultimate form. And that one is like a robot and it dances. I don't know if the dress comes off this one. I did not have this doll as a kid. I got it later. I know there's a lot of people who are trying to collect all of the sisters. I think Ashlyn is the hardest one to find, which is the purple one right here. She's also the prettiest one. Yeah, this one and the blue one are really pretty. And this one. I know a lot of people want the twins. I've seen these two for sale. I think they came together. This is not a 12 Dancing Princesses video, Genevieve. Her hair is so perfect though. Okay, so Genevieve. And then you've all seen Odette before. She was in the same video where I got the Princess and the Popper dolls, Miss Odette. These are my, my most prized Barbie dolls. These are sets I didn't even know existed until I bought them. And they're the wedding uh, sets, the wedding gift sets. So this is obviously much more vibrant, but she's like, the attention to detail on Annalise is just so good. This is such an awkward angle, my gosh. It's interesting that they have a more like natural kind of tan skin tone and then these are a much more pinkish tone. Interesting. I think as a kid, honestly, so now, nowadays, I much prefer the Princess and the Popper dolls. I just think they're much nicer. They, they're just very beautiful. But as a kid, if these outfits, well, first of all, I didn't want these as a kid because their outfits were painted on and I that freaked me out. I did not like it because the whole point of Barbies was to dress them up. If these dolls were given outfits that you could completely remove and dress them up in other outfits, then I think I actually would have liked these better just because of how vibrantly colored they are, which is why I was so obsessed with these ones, even though you couldn't change her, mm, but you could change her. And she was like my favorite, my favorite doll as a kid. So, to make a very long-winded video, the long, <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for selling me your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what other doll type of things that I should do in the future. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Do we like it on or do we like it off? I don't...